All right then, my friends. So currently we have two different views. We have the welcome view and the pizzas view, and they both have the same kind of top. So they have this doc type, the HTML, then the head with the title, the link to the fonts and the styles right here. This is the same in both of these two different views. Now, if we were to make more views, then they'd probably also have the same head content too. Now, it makes no sense that we should have to copy and paste this head content over and over and over in every single view that we create. And then if we were to ever update the head, it means that we would have to then update every single view that has that head inside it. And the same could be true for any footer that we have too in these views or any other part that's the same in each one. Now, it would be better if we could make a generic layout which contains the head and maybe a footer in a separate file and then we'd use that layout in all of our views. So we're just creating this once and we don't have to copy and paste it all over the show. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to make some kind of generic layout file now and then use that in different views. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new folder inside views and this is gonna be called layouts. And inside there we'll create a new file called layout.blade.php. Okay, so inside here, I want to put the head and maybe a footer. Let's just start with the head. So, in fact, we'll go from the very top, from doc type, all the way down to the body tag, because that is on both of our views. So I'm going to cut it from here, and I'm going to paste it inside this layout file. Now, I'm also going to go over here, and I'm going to cut it, or rather just delete it from the welcome page as well, because we're going to just kind of import it from the layout instead in a second. Now I'm gonna do the same for this bottom bit as well, just the closing body tag and the HTML because that's on both of the pages too. So let me cut it from there and go to the layout and at the bottom over here, we'll do the closing body and the closing HTML and we'll do the same thing from here, just delete those, right? So what we're essentially doing now is creating this generic template Every view that we create is going to have this head, it's going to have a body tag, and it's going to have a closing HTML tag as well. So how do we actually use this layout file in our different views? Well, all we need to do is go to one of our views, and then, in fact, let me just tidy these up a little bit by scooting them in, like so. We'll grab all of this stuff as well and scoot this in over here. And all we need to do is declare at the top that we're going to use a specific template and the way we do that is by using a blade directive so at and then extends and we're saying here we want to basically extend a specific layout file so we want to go into the layouts folder so we say layouts then we don't use forward slash we use a dot to go into that folder and then the file we want is the layout file we don't need to say dot blade dot php it figures it out for us so this right here is saying look we want to use this layout file right here but at the minute that's a little bit confusing because laravel is going to look at this and say okay well you want to use this so i'll show this but then where in this template do you want me to put the rest of the content well the first thing we need to do is define this as a specific section of content so i'm going to say at section and then i'm going to call this content but you can call it what you want and at the end i'm going to say end section so we're saying right here this is a specific section of content that we've called content and now we can use this name because we want to dump that into the layout and where do we want to put it well we want to put it right here so what we're going to do is use a different directive called yield right here and this allows us to yield a specific section so we just pass in the name of the section we want to yield and that is content so what's going to happen here well, say we send back the pizzas view. Well, it's going to look at this first of all and say, okay, well, for this view, I'm going to use this layout. So I'm going to grab this file. I'm going to look through here and I'm going to see this where it says yield the content. So I'm going to go back to the view and I'm going to look for a section called content, which is here. And all of the code inside that section, I'm going to take and we're going to put right here where this yield statement is. Does that make sense? So if I save this now, and go to pizzas, I'm gonna refresh. Hopefully you shouldn't really see a change. 
that's good news because it means it's worked. We've not changed any of the code. All we've done is reorganized it into um, an external layout file. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the welcome screen because at the minute, if we go to welcome, we don't have the extend at the top, this thing right here. So let me copy that. And in fact, before we do that, I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna to go to just forward slash to get that view back. Now at the minute, notice we just get this stuff right here, which is this content, right? Because we've not said we want to extend a specific layout. So none of the CSS is there, none of the head. We just get this blank HTML, which outputs this. So let me now say extends the layout and then let's define a section. So it's gonna be at section and it's called content. And at the end, we need to say end section like so save that and refresh now it should work awesome so let's go back to our layout file and just add in a footer as well so we'll come below where we yield the content and just add a footer tag and inside the footer tag all i'm going to do is some kind of simple copyright statement so i'm going to say copyright 2020 pizza house and I'll also give this a couple of styles as well. So let's go to the stars tag and say footer. It's gonna have a background of EEE. -E -E. It's also gonna have some padding and that's gonna be 20 pixels all the way around. And then text hyphen align is gonna be center. Okay, so save that. And now we should see this footer on each page as well below the content. So save that, we'll refresh. And if we scroll down, we can see the footer there. If we go to forward slash pizzas, we should see the footer down here as well. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. That's how we can make a layout file. And that's gonna make it so that we don't have to keep repeating ourselves in every view that uses the same footer or header or title or whatever it is that's the same over every single view that you create.